Okay, so here we have a uh, 1978 Gibson L6 Solid Body S uh, with block inlays. You don't see this as often with the block inlays. Pretty cool. Um, I gave this one a 7.5 out of 10. It does have quite a bit of wear. It's got some scratches, some dings. Uh, it's got wear on the back. Uh, the tuners have been replaced on it. So there's holes that were filled from the previous tuners. And then it's got finish checking. Uh, some of the things that have been replaced on this one, the pickups have been replaced. The uh, pit guard has been replaced. The knobs have been replaced. Looks like the tailpiece is also a replacement, even though the TP6 is really cool. Uh, and then the tuners. Uh, let's get in there. And well, before that, let me give you some of the specs. The weight is eight pounds, two ounces. It's got a, a rounded neck profile. I'll give you the caliper measurements though. The uh, nut width is 1.55 inches. The depth of the first fret is 0.78 inches and the depth of the 12th fret is 0.96. Has a maple fingerboard. And the pickups that are on these, it's got a Seymour Duncan. Um, so it has a Seymour Duncan JBJ in the bridge. It looks like old Seymour Duncan pickups and a Seymour Duncan JMBJ in the uh, neck. Uh, let's get in there and check it out. Even though the pickguard is a replacement, it actually looks really good on this one. Plenty of dings going on like right in that area and then we've got the checking by the knobs or the input jack I mean. And then, like I said plenty of dings throughout. Right, you can see. It looks like we also have some wear on that fingerboard. The frets are great though, there is no wear. And the front of the headstock. Scratches and dings. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this one over. Back of the headstock. Serial number is there. It is a little tricky to read, but you can see it right there. There's our Made in USA. Uh, some things on the top there, and then you can see where the tuner holes were filled right there. But honestly, these Grovers are great. Back of the headstock's good. There's no cracks, uh, breaks, or repairs. And the back of the neck looks good as well. You just have some scratches and dings. Okay, and the back of the guitar, a little bit of wear on the back, kind of right around this area. And we just have dings throughout, so you can see some dings in that area. Really consistent with a 7.5 out of 10 though. Like I said, most of the wear on the back is kind of in this area. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. And there we have it on that one, uh, 1978 Gibson L6S solid body guitar.